There's fish. There we go. There's fish. What do I got here? Can this be my first Southern Oregon walleye? Or is it going to be like minnow or small now? Well, that's my first. Come on, get him in the net. Yay, there's my first Southern Oregon walleye, finally. Man. Awesome. Three trips took me to find one, but I finally got one. There you go. My first Southern Oregon walleye. Hooray! Got it on one of my homemade spinners. That was just on a crawler rig. Crawler harness. Last year I came up to Lookout Point to get walleye and I had two trips. Never touched anything. Caught lots of smallies and crappie and pike minnow. But uh, never had any luck. Came back this year. Been out twice. Nothing for me. And I've tried a lot of different techniques. Jigging for them and throwing swim baits for them. Pretty much doing everything I do back at home for them, but just can never get get one uh, in the boat until now. I finally got one today, so that's great. It's a good feeling. All right, there we go. Nice little eater male. I'm gonna go back over that spot. If I can't find some more. And they don't know how long the walleye have been in here for sure, but they started doing some predator studies and on pike minnow and smallmouth bass in the lake and walleye started showing up in their their catches and i actually found out about it because of a paper looking at um walleye predation here on juvenile chinook that they release upstream and then i started doing some research and i found this guy who had some underwater video of walleye below dexter dam which is actually the next reservoir down at the dam and there was a good numbers of walleye staged up below the dam and i've actually gone down there and seen guys throwing jigs and stuff for them uh, with little success but it did make me interested in, in exploring this fishery but the challenge that i quickly discovered was that this reservoir is very uh, kayaker unfriendly there are very few launch points and uh, the wind here is just horrific and so th once the wind the wind picks up here every day and it just gets really really intolerable and it is actually some of the scariest waves wind waves I've been on on inland lake uh, several times I've been out here and this is of course compounded by the fact that there's very little access um, to the lake to launch a kayak. There's one decent boat launch at Signal Point, which is in the middle of the reservoir, but that's miles away from where the walleye are here in the upper end of the reservoir. So really does make it challenging. So it's 9.30 in the morning, the winds come out of the east and then around like between eight and nine, the lake usually mellows out and then around 9, 9.30, the wind flips around out of the west and just builds and builds and builds and if you're out on the main lake it'll be white capping by 10 o'clock every day uh, i'm way here on the east end so i'll have a little bit longer window but not much so it makes it really hard because you just can't be out here that long and that's what it takes to catch walleye at home you know i gotta explore those bite windows that turn on and off throughout the day periodically and uh, just not able to do it here because in another hour it's going to be white capping like crazy in here. They're actually going to be draining this lake down to basically returning it back to a river state by the fall. And it'll be inaccessible for power boats and probably kayakers. Then the next month or two, as they draw it down to try and encourage the Chinook to swim more quickly out of the reservoir. I don't know what that's going to do to the walleye. I think since walleye spawn in the spring when they flood the reservoir, 
I'm not sure how that will impact in the long term their reproductive success in the lake. But, yeah, they're doing this across Western Oregon at Green Peter Reservoir, at Foster, and here. It's definitely going to reduce the amount of recreation opportunities in the area. Uh-oh. That's not good. Did the battery die? Well, I just lost my fish finder. I don't know what happened. Uh, I think my battery maybe did not charge properly overnight. I don't know, but it sucks. Because now I'm completely blind. I don't know depth or speed. I can guess. Just going to do the best I can. Totally blind fishing now. I guess the good thing about bottom walkers is that it's pretty, pretty easy to tell if you're actually fishing because you can watch them walk. So it is 10 o'clock and it is starting to white cap now. So just beginning, but it's already making it really hard to steer. I'm having to troll faster than if I'm going with the wind, I, I can't steer because I'm trying to slow down and when I do, I'm just getting pushed sideways because of the, the wind. It's really rendering my ability to effectively fish nil. I think if I lived like in Eugene, I think I'd just give up kayak fishing in the spring and just buy a power boat and put a bomb out in Coda spot lock on it or autopilot because you got to have the range because there's so few launches on these big lakes and then you've got to have the control and the wind and a kayak provides neither i mean if i had an autopilot kayak that would give me the control but i'm still stuck with the range problem and the big big lakes big wind there's fish right there. Yeah. There we go. Can't stand clickers. Drive me crazy. Feels like a decent fish. It's a nice walleye. Second one of the day, if I can get it in the net here. Oh, come on, buddy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Second walleye of the day. All right. Fighting that wind. That was on the other rod that I switched out the chartreuse. Number two. Sweet. No doubt when he hit that, he smashed it. Oh, I got one here. Yep, I got one there too. Got a double. Got a double. How the devil going? Nice. Another one right there. All right. There we go. There we go. Two walleyes in the boat. Short order. So far, I've gotten all of them going upstream against the current, not downstream with it. Sometimes that matters. Uh, the wind's getting so consistent now, I can't control my boat at all. And my speeds are probably closer to two, even without pedaling on the kayak. I was hoping to pick up number four, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Just going a little too fast here. And if I try and slow down by going backwards and I lose all ability to steer, I'll just get flipped around and tangle. Well, bottom walkers for the win. They're not my favorite technique, 
because you cannot cover a lot of water very effectively because you have to troll so slow and conditions have to be prime like as I'm struggling here now with with this wind and stuff it's really challenging to stay in that slow troll speed that they want uh, I've tried crankbaits extensively on this lake and all I've ever come away with is pike minnows and um, crappie and smallmouth bass. I have tried jigging but the window for jigging here is so narrow and I don't know where the fish hold consistently enough to feel confident in jigging. Although that seems to be the preferred way like everybody here 90% of them just go around the edge of the lake and throw swim baits or jigs and let them fall off of uh, steep ledges. And that must work because enough people do it, but I um, actually have never seen anyone in person catch one or say they got one that day. And that was the best setup today. It was this Max Blue and Chartreuse combination that I made using Gamakatsu hooks. So Max Beads and Smiley Blade. And then these are split shot, drop shot, chartreuse hooks, and size one. So there's my three, which is way better than zero, but not uh, not super productive by any means. I kind of had to grind them out, but that's how it goes when you're learning a new walleye fishery. All right, guys, I'm headed back north, uh, back to more familiar fisheries. And uh, it's been a challenge learning these new fisheries down here, high water, high winds, it's just been really difficult uh this past month of fishing but i'm glad i came away with at least a small victory right here at the end at lookout point reservoir in southern oregon chasing walleye see you next time just remember fish smarter not harder bye guys